Tomlin Middle School art students. Today is another beautiful day here in Seminole Heights, Tampa. Sun is out. It's nice and cool. Partly cloudy. It's not a complaint from here. I'm gonna do some yard work a little bit. Cut the grass. Prune back some plants. Start making a compost pile. But for you guys, this will be a pretty short video because you are already working on your final projects. <clears throat> so today, just kind of a shout out to let you guys know that if you need any additional support in these final projects, please just reach out to me and I will do everything that I can to give you any additional information or just recap any information for you that I've already provided for you in one of my videos. So let me just kind of explain a little bit more about those final projects. Now, every class has been given a particular project to work on. So here are the list of items of each of the classes and their uh, projects. So first class is, let's say 2D1. 2D1, you're working on landscape drawings. I've given you all the information for two point, three point, and one point perspective. You can choose any of those points of perspective to make your landscape. Uh, you can use the um, viewpoint from your bedroom window, or you can make up one of your uh, sceneries. You can use whatever elements you want. The point of this project though, is to use perspective in some sort of way. 2D2 students, you specifically have to use three point perspective. Now, even though you're using three point perspective, two and one point perspective <clears throat> is really helpful when uh, compiling the three point perspective field because you're using a combination really of all three points of perspective. And your subject matter is going to be cityscapes. So uh, you can make your city a grand, huge, like, uh, like Venice city with domed buildings and tall uh, two or three floor buildings and or even taller than that with city streets, or you, your city can simply be uh, a small city. It doesn't have to be something with lots of detail and all kinds of streets and people or anything like that. You can have a quite simplistic city and still use three point perspective. Visual arts. Visual arts, you can choose any of the three points of perspective to draw any sort of landscape or cityscape oriented environment. So I have showed you all three points of perspective as well, and you can use any three points of perspective um, in order to compile your environmental kind of image. And then lastly, my 3D classes. 3D classes, you guys are all focusing on your natural sculptures. Natural sculptures are using uh, all the natural environmental uh, resources and materials in your environment. So, you know, please don't use anything like duct tape or super glue or anything like that. I've already seen a lot of really great ones, so I know a lot of you guys are on track, so that's perfect. Um, please use Andy Goldsworthy as a resource or any other natural artist, but Andy Goldsworthy is one of the ones we focused on a lot in a lot of the videos. So try to use Andy Goldsworthy as a, um, a great example of natural sculptures. Um, and they are ephemeral, which means that they will fall apart over time. So uh, again, don't use any other materials uh, other than just natural, otherwise you're just going to be littering and that's not good. So th that's a recap of all the different projects and what we have worked on up until this point. Now don't forget, you can always go back to any of the videos that I produced in order to uh, have resources, additional resources for uh, these projects. Uh, I'm giving you a full week to complete them. They don't have to take a whole week. You don't have to spend like a half an hour every day. Just spend a decent amount of time because you know we've worked hard to get to this point. So, you know we've we've learned a lot about artists and the different type of art and all the different types of resources and all the different types of techniques and skills in order to get to this point in and where your project is. So use as many resources as you need. And if you need to go and revisit, like I said, back to some of my old videos, feel free. Or if you want to just do some research on your own, that's great. Go on YouTube. I use that all the time. Uh, just in day-to-day -day life, I use YouTube all the time. You know, how, how do I make a compost pile efficiently and quickly? Boom, YouTube. How do I make French bread? Boom, YouTube. How do I make my own homemade pasta? Boom, YouTube. So feel free to use any resources at all. Of course, my historical video gives you a 
ton of artists. I think in each historical video, I have at least 10 different artists that have, um, uh, have experience in your particular uh, field that you're working in as far as throughout your project. So use any of those people as a resource in order to create your overall project. Um, I'm looking really, uh, really forward to seeing a lot of your guys' work. I've seen a lot of amazing work already. So keep up the great work and, and we'll do really well throughout this last project. Now when it comes to the next section of our art class, uh, I kind of wanted to ask you guys what you would feel like would be more fun throughout the last four uh, weeks of this uh, semester. Um, I did have one large project available or that I was going to make for each of my classes. Um, but given the circumstances of you know being home kind of quarantined and not having all the different um, uh, materials and tools that I wish I could have had during this time. Uh, I was really hoping to leave the, the semester with a big bang and have a really great last project. However, <clears throat> I'm going to ask you guys if you would rather see one of two things. A, would you rather see one large final project that we could all, each individual class would have, you know, they all would have their own individual last final project, or would you like me to split up over the next four weeks for small projects that we can kind of work on? Where on, say, Tuesday, I give you all the information. Wednesday, I'd give you the assignment. And then Thursday, I would give you a recap of all the information with some more additional information. And then the following week, the project would be due. So they're all kind of like little miniature projects that you could use different resources and different things with. Uh, and just kind of explore a little bit more of artistic creativity. So uh, it's either that or like I said, one big final three week long project where I compile a ton of information the first couple weeks, give you techniques and skills the next week, and then submit, have you guys submit a final project the final week. So I'm gonna leave that, guy, that up to you guys. I'll put a poll out at the end of this project, but I wanted to reach out and kind of get that idea set into you so that if you, uh, uh, if you have an opinion, I, I want to hear it, you know, so I, I want to make this the last final project uh, fun. So um, just kind of I'll make a poll. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Now, I also want to reach out to those who are a little bit behind. It's okay. None of my classes are going to have uh, deadlines, really. I will have, there will be technically deadlines. It'll be like, hey, can you please get this in by Wednesday? Because we're going to continue to move on, you know, but you guys have all the time in the world to get caught up in anything that you need. So if this is your very first video you're watching, that's fine. Email me, message me. I have everything compiled into one long list and you can just do it step by step if you want to get caught up. No big deal. So if you're behind, just message me and we'll work together, we'll get it all done. And of course, Fridays when we do our Zoom meetings, that's a great day to like just come on in, ask the questions. I break every class down into like a half an hour or 45 minute increments. And then I have a one hour section in the very tail end of all of my meetings that allows me to give one-on-one -on -one to all my students. So if you need a one-on-one -on -one and you need to figure out what the project is, or you're really far behind, we have not only video, but we also have chat inside that those Zoom meeting rooms. So I can send you all the links of all the different things and you can see me face to face. And that, that also uh, um, applies to you parents out there. If, if you are you know, struggling to get all of your kids on the same page, please message me. We'll conduct a Zoom meeting real quick. No big deal. Sometimes it's just easier to kind of see somebody face to face and be able to figure out what it is that we all need to get done all together. I do not want to see anyone fail. And I'm trying my very hardest to make as many extra credit and um, assignments and other ways in order for people to get their grades in the point where they can. Uh, I don't want to see anyone fail, especially with art, you know? So um, contact me, let me know what you need and I'll do everything that I can in order to make sure that you have great grades at the final end of this fourth quarter. All right, guys. Well, that's all I really have for you today. <clears throat> Just wanted to ask your opinion on the uh, final projects as far as the, the next final projects, the last four weeks of school final projects. And I wanted to give you all the information you need in order to finish these final projects, meaning this 
project that we are just completing and now I'm asking you to do compile all the work together into one final image. So um, just wanted to ask you some of those questions. I wanted to touch base with you. I wanted to reach out and say that I am here for you if you need anything at all and just message me. And that's pretty much all I really wanted to do. So today's a really easy video <clears throat> with not a whole uh, lot of, uh, of additional uh, work. It's just touching base. So I can't wait to see you guys on Friday. As always, we will conduct our Zoom meetings. Um, and as I mentioned before, if you have any questions, please come to these Zoom meetings. They're very important. <clears throat> you also get extra credit for coming to these Zoom meetings so that uh, you can see me face to face and, and you can, um, and you can ask all the questions that you need. So come to these Zoom meetings and I will get everything all figured out for you. No big deal. In the meantime, have a great couple days, work on your projects and stay cool.